All right, we had some questions on 6-2, number 24 was a question mark on it. There are four roads to town A, so you can choose any of the four. One, two, three, four, and that will get you to town A. And then from town A to town B, excuse me. And then three from town B to town C. So each, we could pick any of these paths. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you get the t A to B and you could be come in on any of these roads and then go on to C here. And how many ways could the person travel? Well, we got four times three, which is 12 different paths. Go on the road one and then road one, or one and two, one and three, or two and one, two and two, two and three, or two, three and one, three, two, three, three, or four, one, four, two, four, three. Um, from A to C, passing through B. Find the round trip from A to C and back by way of B. Well, if there's 12 ways to get there, then there's 12 ways to go back, so that'd be 12 times 12, or 144 uh, ways to go there and back. Some of them would be following the same path. Round trip from A, you see, without using any road twice. Uh, so you'd have four choices for the first one, three for the second leg, and then to go back, if you've used one of those, there'd only be two left of those, and then of the four, you've used one, so there'd be only three left of those, so that's 12 times six, which is 72 half as many. Okay? So here's A, part A, part B, and part C. For 24, 26 was the next one. 26, uh, Scrabble player has seven letters. She wants to play all possible five letter sequences before playing. Consider all of them. Do one a second. So there are seven letters. Um, so she has seven options for the first letter to pick, uh, six for the second letter, five for the third, four left for the fourth, and three left for the th uh, fifth. So if we multiply that, 42 times 20 is 840 um, times three, uh, 824, 25, 20, is that right? Let me pull up my calculator just to make sure. Uh, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 is 25, 20. And then... If we do one a second, how many minutes? So I'm going to divide that by 60. And it takes 42 minutes trying one a second. And it would be a real challenge to keep rearranging those at a rate of one a second and not start duplicating. But that's the answer to that one. 26. Uh, next one was... 30 on my list here of questions. So moving that up to about there. 30 says, where'd it go? 28, 29, 30. There it is. Uh, directions are an exam. It consists of five multiple choice items. Each has four choices and five true-false items. How many different sets of answers are possible? Well, if there's multiple choice, the first one you have four choices, second one four choices, third one four choices, fourth one four choices, fifth one four choices, which is four to the fifth, 
And then for the true-false, it's two possibilities, true or false, for the first one. And there's five of them. And so that's two to the fifth. And I believe that's about four. No, it's more than that. There's about 8,000 ways to answer this test. Four to the fifth times two to the fifth is 32,768 ways to answer that test. Hmm. Quite a few ways. And then 32, 32 is a three digit numeral using, we get to use two, four, five, seven, and nine with and repeated digits are okay and it says how many numbers are less than 500 and this is three digit number so the to be less than 500 the first digit could be 200 or 400 but it can't be 5 7 or 900 so I have two choices for the first one after I view then and I get to repeat, so there's still five numbers to use for here, so times five choices for that spot. And I get to repeat, so five here, so ten times five is fifty possible five digit numbers that are five hundred under five hundred. That's thirty-two and then thirty-four, the final one. Thirty-four using the same they got to be multiples of five. So this can be any number. I mean, it can be 240, but it has to end in zero or five, or five to be a multiple of five. And zero is not an option. Five is the only option. So there's uh, one choice for the last digit. And since I can repeat, I have all these still, so I have five choices that, to pick from for the first digit. It could be two, four, five, seven, or nine. I have five choices for the next one. It could be two, four, five, seven, or nine. But the last digit has to be a five to be a multiple of five. So five times five times one is 25. And that's 34.